What it do, what it do, what it do. It's the OT on the mud, Panua tapping in, man, with another video. And today's video, man, is uh, basically about how I went from secure to unsecure with Navy Federal. Now, um, first, before I even get started, man, I just really, really, really want to give a huge shout out to Navy Federal for uh, giving me a chance. Um, I went through a lot of other financial in institutions. And, you know, it just was a lot of, you know, I guess, gray areas as to how to become unsecured from a secured account. And this video is going to be a little bit longer than most of my videos because I don't want to miss, you know, any point, any key points or any data that I collected, you know, when I started this um, Navy Federal account. So, again, man, Navy Federal thank y'all man like from the bottom of my heart y'all helped change my whole credit life um i wasn't in the best position at the time so i really 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 appreciate y'all so thank you for that man so um about three years ago i started my credit journey um i always knew about credit but i wasn't really you know hip to you know how much credit that you can obtain just by you know cleaning up your credit profile and keeping your face clean with the institutions when they you know lend you money so um i started it back in 2018 um i actually didn't get navy federal until a year after that and um one of the first requirements that navy federal requires is that you have some sort of military affiliation or you have a relative that's um, military affiliate, or they already have a bank account with Navy Federal. Um, those are the ways that I know. I'm sure it's probably other ways that you can get a Navy Federal membership, but the ways that I know is have military affiliation, a family member with military affiliation, or a family member with a bank account already, all right? And they're gonna uh, give you something that's called an access code, and then that's how you will become a member once you apply, all right? So if you're looking to get Navy Federal, um, I will always highly recommend them. Again, they changed my whole credit um, lifestyle when it comes to uh, high credit card limits, and I just can't be more thankful enough. So, um, just a little bit more about other financial institutions that I was with for years and I didn't get the opportunity that Navy Federal gave me in just six months. Um, I was banking with a railroad for a very long time. I was banking with Suncoast for a very long time. And even though I had on-time payments um, for years, they never transitioned my secured account to unsecured. I mean, no late payments. Um, and this is even before I was even aware of what I was doing, honestly. I just thought, you know, in my mind, hey, they let me borrow the money, I'm gonna get it back to them. I wasn't even trying to obtain higher credit card limits. I just was doing, you know, I don't even know why I was doing it. Like, I just was paying them back. Um, and they let me down, like, and I was real discouraged. Like, I was like, damn, man, you know, shit, I, I've been paying these people on time, like, three, four years. Like, it's a peon-ass $500 limit. I got way more than $500 in my account. But, you know what I'm saying? Y'all won't unsecure my, you know, credit account with y'all. So, I was discouraged, man. I was just like, man, you know what? Fuck it, man. You know, maybe the whole credit thing ain't for me. You know, this shit crazy. You know, I you know I get money, so it's like, you know, I ain't gonna. I I I never really like said I don't need credit, but I just was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm not, you know, gonna go through this. You know what I'm saying? Like about something that I already have, like you know, hard cash. You know what I'm saying? So I ran across Navy Federal, um, got the account, and the rest was history, man. I mean, six months I went from. Uh, the end rewards to the cash rewards and um 
some of the things that I did, like I say, I just basically um, started out with um, a $500 deposit, which you will get back once your card becomes unsecured. So I put down, I forfeited a $500 deposit to get this in rewards card. Now, let me tell y'all some of the benefits to this card. It's a secure card. But how many secure cards would you get 1% back on some purchases and 2% back on other purchases? All right. And I got the algorithm somewhere in here, but, you know, that that's besides the point. You know, we just want to, you know, get from secure to unsecure. But 2% and 1% on basically all purchases that, you know, fit that criteria to get the 2% or the 1%. And... So basically what I did was I would use the card like I would use cash. Um, I fill up my tank, 60 bucks, $70. I would go get groceries, you know, a couple hundred dollars. I would, you know, pay pay my cell phone bill, you know, whatever that, what a hundred dollars or whatever the case that may be. Um, I pay my light bill, but I will always pay the card back in full, like even before it's due so that I can use it some more and keep earning the rewards. Like my, I was like rewards driven. Like, all right, man, shit, I'm finna just try to run up the rewards. Like I'm spending this cash anyway, shit on bills, light bill, you know, um, cell phone bill, groceries. So for an example, all right, so the $500 limit, I would spend $300, right? That is not due yet, but I know I'm about to make another purchase for something that's about $400. And what I do love about Navy Federal is they not, well, this credit card, you can make as many as payments as you want. You know what I'm saying? Like some credit card, you know, like my Discover, they're very good, but I hate how they payments work. Like you can't make like a certain amount of payments in a certain span of time. And that shit crazy because when you're trying to, you know, run up your rewards or you know that you like got crazy spending, Shit, you want to apply the money back to the card and swipe the card. And then now you still, you know, earning money for spending money. So, again, the example, you know, I use 300 and then I'd be like, oh, dang, you know, I like this. Um, I like these pair of shoes. So I know it's 200 on there. The shoes cost like, you know what I'm saying, like $500. I would apply the 300 back and then go swipe for the uh, $500 uh, sneakers. And then boom, you know what I'm saying? Now I just earned my rewards and, you know, I was able to, you know, make another payment of the $500 and then now I'm back at a fresh start again. So I did that for like six months straight. Like I just was running it up. But again, these were purchases that I was going to make whether I had this credit card or not. You feel me? But in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to put the activity on this card, like all my activity going on this card. I don't care what it was for, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything was going on this card and I would just pay it back throughout the month. So if I know I'm gonna use it again, I already got the money. I'm gonna just put the, put it back on the card and use the card again. Um, if, if, if I owe like $400 and I know I need to go grocery shopping, it don't matter when the due date is. I'm finna put the $400, apply it back to the card. Now I'm at 500 again, and I'm finna go grocery shopping. And six months now, I went from 500 to 2,000. That was at that time. This card here has a $12,000 limit on it. You feel me? But back when I initially started this process, it went from 500 to 2,000. Got my 500 back. Now I got 2,000 of their money that I'm doing the same thing with. You know what I'm saying? So for six months, that's, 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 that was pretty much the rundown on how I did it. How I went from secure to unsecured in six months was I used this car for everything that I would normally do anyway. Light bill, um, Wi-Fi bill, phone bill, you know, and I reload the car back up. So let's say it get down to, you know, whatever, like I was just explaining to you. $400, $300, $200, apply the balance back, get it back to 500 or whatever, you know, you're willing to forfeit 
for your deposit, it could be $200. It don't matter what you start with, just get started. But I want to say it's a minimum of $200 that you have to forfeit in order to open up this in rewards card. But people listen to the benefit of it. You're getting a card where you finna earn money back. And then, oh, and then another um, thing that happened, you all the points that I told you that I um, was able to get rewards for, it turned into cash. So when this card was no, cause I, and I keep this as a trophy, like, cause I started from the mud, man. I started from the slums and the credit, man. Nobody wanted to give me a chance. And now I got American Express. I got Discover. I got all of that right now. But this is about Navy Federal. And I believe that they wouldn't even gave me an opportunity if Navy Federal didn't open the door for that with this high ass limit. And then when you apply for other stuff and they automatically see, oh damn, he got over $20,000 worth of unsecured credit. Why doesn't he have an account with us? You know what I'm saying? It makes sense now. Now they knocking on your door instead of you knocking on their door and getting declined all the time. You feel me? My mama always told me that, like, when, when somebody knock on your door, that means they need you. Otherwise, they wouldn't be at your door. You feel me? So make them knock on your door. Get with Navy Federal. Get a high-ass limit. And then now, nah, they sending you shit in the mail. Oh, uh, instant approval, $10,000 um, with, with Discover. You know what I'm saying? Instant approval. Uh, the business rewards that I got with them, 20000 You feel me? Like, that's how I go. Make them knock on your door. You know what I'm saying? Make them need you. Make them feel like um, if they don't have an account with your business, then, you know, they ain't the hottest shit popping. You feel me? So that's what it is, man. Six months. I went six months of using this car every day spending, and I got the cash. Like right now, um, if I wanted to transfer all my rewards, the cash that I have, because with this car, with the end rewards, you get points. So you get the, um, like, let's just say you want to use it, you're thirsty to use it, and you want to get a gift card. You could get, like, gift cards with this card. But if you just wait, wait your six months, and all the rewards that you earn in the six months is going to turn into cash on this card. So now you could go on your app, transfer that cash, into your checking account. Not all this money that you just spent, you earn money back on it. And guess what? The five hundred dollars that I put down on this card, guess what? It came back in like two days. It wasn't no games. They, you know how some of these banks, man, they they do all this, you know, extra, you know, what I'm saying curricular activities. Or you gotta wait. No, man. Navy Federal is. Don't play with them, man. They not one of them, man. Navy Federal is not one of them. Man, two, three days, my 500 back in my thing. What I did with my 500? As a matter of fact, I, I'm, I'm sitting on it. I, well, that was two years ago. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even know what the fuck I did with the $500, honestly. You feel me? But $500 slid right back to you. Now you at 2000 of, you know what I'm saying, credit of their money. And then you just doing the same thing. You feel me? Then what I got, uh, they doubled my limit in six more months. So I went from 2K to 4K. You know what I'm saying? In six months. And then I called them six months later and got another uh, credit limit increase. I initiated that uh, credit limit increase because I told them, you know, I'm getting new equipment for my business. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing, you know, other things, you know, that's going to require me to do a lot of spending. They doubled it again. You feel me? So in the course of, I would say, 18 months, six, six, yeah, well, wait, yeah, 18 months. Uh, a $500 investment, you know what I'm saying? Turn to the damn that 8K, which is 12K9, 2021 today. $500 investment, you feel me? It take time, it, you know what I'm saying? It takes effort, but I'm telling you, man, listen, Navy Federal is not one of them. Man, them people stand on what they talking about, man. They stand on it. I'm a testimony, like no cap. I am a testimony. If you see all these credit, these credit people, they are posting this card. Go on any credit um, person who, who's in the credit um, cleaning space. They're posting this card. This is the card that they're posting with Navy Federal. You feel me? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a testimony to it. So I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, share that with y'all. 
if you are contemplating on dealing with Navy Federal, I'm telling you, don't contemplate no more. Get started. Contact somebody. See what you got to do. Go through whatever measures it takes to get an account with Navy Federal. All right. So uh, just to go back over it, um, step one, you got to get with an, either be an affiliate of the military, a family member, which is an affiliate of the military, or a family member that already has an account that is an affiliate of the military. Now, there might be other ways that you can get an account. But Navy Federal is not one of them old oh, pick me ass banks. No, they're not. Oh, pick me, pick me. No, they're not like that. So you're not going to be able to get in without, you know, being invited in. Like you got to be sworn in through someone else. You feel me? All these other pick me ass banks that just want your money is not going to help you grow. It's not going to do anything for you. That's not who Navy Federal is. When you got these pick me ass people, oh, pick me. Nine times out of ten, they want you to pick them because they don't got shit for you in return. You know, I've been let down, man. I'm telling you, I almost gave up on this whole credit shit. Like, I'm like, man, I get money. So I, I you know, fuck this credit. Like, y'all y'all got me messed up, bro. Like, you feel me? I don't know what y'all got going on, but this peon-ass little $500 card that y'all don't want to turn secure, man, y'all trying me, bro. Like, what y'all got going on? You feel me? So, man, listen. Step one. No military affiliation. Step two, you have to open the insecure card. You have to forfeit 200. I'm not sure what the max is. I only did 500 at the time. I did 500, but start with 200. It doesn't matter. Six months, you're going to get your 200 back, and they're going to start you with your own line of credit. All right? Um, once you open the account, then you use the card. Be responsible with the card. Pay the card back. Use it multiple times within the month. Pay it back multiple times within that month. So if you only do 200 and you, you go get $50 worth of gas, pay that shit back. Now you're back at 200 Now go go swipe for your phone bill. That's 100 150 whatever it costs. If it's the whole 200 swipe that shit. Pay the 200 back because you really already got the money. You just trying to hurry up and get this card unsecured to get your money back. And now you plan with their money double almost triple the amount so that i went up two times the amount so i went from 500 to 2000 i'm sorry yeah three times the amount got my 500 back boom i'm rocking with 2000 all right so once you do that six months you unsecured do the same process in six months they're gonna do it again you know what i'm saying now you don't have to call and do it just depends on you know how you moving and what you got going on to determine how you want your limit to go. But now you're in the playing field. You know what I'm saying? And once you're in the playing field, now you got all opportunities for other prestigious top tier accounts to knock on your door. All right, man. So listen, big shout out to Navy Federal, man. I'm fucking with y'all a long way. Nobody can tell me anything different about Navy Federal. They gave me a chance when my credit was in the slums. I have no limit. I had no credit card with more than $300, $500 with a crazy ass interest rate over 20, 30%. Now, who wants to pay 20, 30% on a dollar? Come on, man. That's robbing people without a mask. Like, that's those pick me ass banks. Oh, pick me. Because they know you need them. So now you're in a situation where it's a chance you're going to default on the card because the shit's so hot. You feel me? So. Hey, shout out to Navy Federal, man. Y'all better tap in with them people, man. Tell them Mud West sent you, and hopefully they'll give you something else, man. And this right here is the shirt of the week to one lucky subscriber, man. Remember, we give out Mud West merch every Friday to one subscriber. This is the shirt of the week, man. That's going to be going to one subscriber. And listen, man, Navy Federal, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all did so much for me, man, and it, it's just crazy. Um, and yeah, make sure y'all tap in, man. Follow me on Instagram, wear mud. Um, uh, follow me on uh Facebook, mud well. And man, I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. OTM, out the mud, mudpreneur. We out.